Dire PC builders will tell you that even the best gaming laptops will never replace a desktop rig. But the MSI Titan G77 is here to challenge that assertion. Packing up to an Intel Core and an E12900HX Intel's most powerful mobile processor with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti and a ton of storage. Desktop replacements are often big and bulky, and while this Titan is still a very big laptop, it has slimmed down from the last time we saw it, and it has tons of other trimmings, including a mechanical keyboard, and, depending on your configuration, lots of opportunities to upgrade down the line. But starting at more than $2,500, it's expensive and only goes up from there, hitting about $5,000 on the configuration we tested. If you want to replace your desktop, you'll have to pay the price. Design As far as massive desktop replacements go, the redesigned MSI Titan G70 Don't get me wrong, it's still huge. You won't want to carry this around from place to place without a car. But still, its sports car aesthetic is eye-catching. And, if you've seen the old 9.2 pound 2019 design, a bit more compact, closed, the Titan is somewhere between a spaceship and a Ferrari. The black plastic lid is fairly plain, with the exception of a Maasai Dragon Shield logo, which, of course, lights up in RGB because why not? The other thing you'll notice before you even open this notebook is that the Titan has a bit of junk in the trunk with some lines for texture. Alienware has been doing this for years to add extra ports in the back of the machine, but on the Titan, that's all exhaust for hot hair. But hey, that has RGB lighting, too. And replaces the RGB light bar on the front that you can see on MSI existing GS76 Raider. L lifting the lid reveals a 17.3 inch display with moderate bezels, though particularly large along the bottom. The entire deck is black plastic, which is offset by the RGB mechanical keyboard. More on that below. Some of the same lines can be seen below the screen, bringing a bit of coherence to the different parts of the laptop. There's a small fingerprint reader next to the trackpad, which worked well when I was wearing a mask and couldn't use Windows Hello Facial Recognition. In our review configuration, the Titan came with Intel and NVIDIA's most powerful mobile components, the Intel Core and an E12900HX, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Time. These provided strong gaming performance, but the gap was rarely huge between the HX and Intel's existing HK series chips. To test these out for myself, I played some Control, which is still deeply demanding a few years past its release. I pumped the settings as high as they can go, including ray tracing, at 1080 to match the screen. The game typically ran between 75 and 80 FPS as I fought my way through past enemy hits in the oldest house. On Shadow of the Tomb Raider at its highest settings, 1080, the Titan played at 117 FPS beating the Raider and Alienware X17, both with a core and an E12900HK, RTX 3080 Ti at 112 FPS and 107 FPS, respect the Asus ROG Strix Scar 17, with an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. The MSI Titan G77 marks the first time we're reviewing a laptop with one of Intel's 12th Gen HX, specifically, the Titan is rocking a top-of-the-line Intel Core and an E12900HK with 16 cores, 8 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores and 24 threads, with a boost clock of 5GHz. Our review unit also came with a whopping 64GB of RAM and 4TB of it on Geekbench 5, an overall performance benchmark that relies heavily on the CPU. The Titan reached a single-core score of 1851 and notched a multi-core score of 15999. While the MSI G S76 Raider and Alienware X17 R2, both armed with an Intel Core and an E12900HK, earned similar single core performance scores. They weren't as powerful on multi core, 13,456 for the Raider, 13,710 on the Alienware. The Asus ROG Strix Scar 17 G733Q, with its AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX, achieved a single core score of 1,487 and multi-core score of 8,200. All of the laptops did well on our file transfer test, which copies 25 GB of test files, but the Titan G77 really blazed through the challenge. MSI latest desktop replacement reached speeds of 2,639.3 Mbps, handily surpassing the Alienware, 2,268.18 Mbp, Raider 1774.50 Mbps and SCAR 
1449.66 Mbps. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.